it's Jackie and it's been a month so I thought let's take another look through my uh, Mambi fitness planner because um, again I'm not seeing a lot of videos on this um, there's not a whole lot to show you but I just figured I'd let you see that I'm keeping up with it so this page hasn't changed I've typed in I've been using my typecast typewriter to type in my measurements um, so I like to take these measurements at the middle of the month and what I found in my first month is though I though I'm down um, I guess that's what like 8.8 .8 pounds um, my actual measurements haven't changed so that was interesting I looked it up and I guess that's normal when you lose your first 10 pounds um, so this hasn't changed since the last time I showed it to you this hasn't changed uh, and we'll just skip right ahead to can't remember if I had this done last time I showed you or not I think I did though um, so this page was a divider yeah I can't remember anyway I just answered all these questions I think I had that done for you guys and it had a motivational saying on it, and I don't like exercise motivational sayings, like the Pinteresty kind. I find them, I don't know, I just am not a fan. So when I saw this snarky one, you've only got one body and you've already ruined it, it just made me laugh. So I printed it off and I stuck it in and covered up the saying, whatever used to be there, it's gone. <laughs> and so I figured out what to do with my calendar pages. Um, thank you everyone that left me suggestions. What I ended up doing with them is every day I'm writing down a victory towards my health goals. Um, because every day there is something. It's either that I've increased one of my weights or I did something I thought I couldn't do. Oh, my husband just walked in. Um, or I got my sister to come with me or I tried something new. So there's always a victory and so I'm using this calendar as an opportunity to write those down. And um, I really like this because it just gives me a little way to celebrate what I've accomplished for the day. So I just used some um, artsy stamps. They're from Michaels. They were selling them there like a year ago I think and I just used some planner stickers I had some Mambi stickers to fill in the boxes I didn't do anything with this I don't know maybe I should um, so then we get into February and on this one I wanted to use this rainbow washi tape just um, for a change I put it on the inside of the page and I did all rainbow colors and um, put my date up here to do my dates all I'm doing is I, I got these labels at the dollar store and I just watercolored a few sheets of them and then I'm using this um, Project Life die set from Michaels and I'm just using this little banner to cut one out in the color that corresponds with my pages and um, just write my month on it. Still using Mambi stickers, still using my star stick, my star stamps and again I'm using Memento die based inks, the Memento dew drops to do my stamping and I um, thought these pages turned out pretty I just did a little bit of hand lettering there because I was so excited about going ice skating and um, just using some different colors. I just have a set of um, Stadler Tripless Fine Liners that I'm using um, to do my different colored writing and um, yeah, pretty much the same. I did Valentine's colors for Valentine's Day and I switched it up to some heart stickers that I had in my stash. I cheated on my diet that day so I put this like Hershey Kiss sticker. Um, and I just added in some more stickers. There's not a lot of room to decorate these, right? You guys know. Um, this one I decided to do neon colors. So I used some neon washi tape, neon inks. And uh, I just stamped family day because um, I take holidays as rest days and as days off my diet because I don't see the... There's so few that I think it's... Um, I don't really see any benefit to sticking with it on those days. Um, and then we have my progress selfie for the month. Um, my weight loss goal has really been to fit into my winter coat comfortably. So I thought um, since my, like last month I did myself in my gym gear, I thought this month, because I don't look that different in my gym gear yet, I thought it would be nice to just do what I look like in my parka. Um, so that when I do lose some weight, I have something to compare it to. So that's the picture I used. Uh, I did my weigh-ins. As you can see, my weight loss has um, slowed down. It's stalled a little bit over the last few weeks. And um, I'm okay with it because at the same time, I have gained so much muscle this month that I know that what I'm doing is working. I think, um, I think that my body has to reach a point where it stops putting on quite so much muscle before I start to see that number jump start again. So um, high hopes for March. I filled in all my journaling again and I just put some gold stickers all around it. On the March divider, I used a journaling card to just document what a day in my diet looks like. Uh, I think if you're watching this, you're probably health focused. So I, I guess I'll tell you a little bit about the diet I'm doing. Um, my favorite diet is called Eating for Life. It's a book by Bill Phillips. 
it is old school. It lets you eat carbs and it's low in fat. I know that's not the current health trends, but for me it works best for losing weight. So that's what I've been doing. 6 a.m. I have my smoothie. It's got bananas, spinach, strawberries, blueberries, yogurt, almond milk, uh, protein powder, flax, and chia seeds. If you want the recipe, just let me know. I'll leave it in the comments for you or in the, in the description box. 9.30, I have a whole wheat bagel with cream cheese and a cup of fresh raspberries. 12.30, I have a little snack of either two clementines and a cheese string or a cup of applesauce and a few almonds. And 3.30, I do what I call meat toast, which is uh, toast with butter, deli meat, and a slice of Swiss cheese and a cup of shredded carrots. And then at 6.30, I have dinner with my husband, and it's just a 300 to 400 calorie portion of whatever I end up cooking that night that usually consists of a lean protein, some kind of whole grain carbs, and some veggies. I try to keep carbs the size of my fist, protein the size of a deck of cards, and um, veggies, whatever I feel like cooking that day. Um, so yeah, I just stuck a journaling card down, put some washi tape at the top and bottom. Pretty straightforward. And then we get into March, and I have not done much with March yet, so I've got some purple pages coming up. And that's it in my fitness planner. Um, once again, I'll just mention that I'm choosing to use the top section as exercise and the bottom section as diet, which is the opposite of the way it is written. If you're noticing it's different from yours, I just made some stickers and stuck them down. So yeah, that's it for now. And um, I'll, I don't know how often I'm going to post these because there's not a whole lot to see. So I might post every month or every couple of months. But um, what I would love to hear about in the comments, if you want to leave me a comment, tell me how your fitness goals are going. Are you seeing the changes that you want to see? Are you feeling better? Just like keep me in the loop. I'd love to talk about how you're doing. Thank you so much for watching.